angry at you. Here's what you have to do to make them afraid of you. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the intriguing phenomenon known as the flying monkeys. But before we plunge into that captivating topic, don't forget to ring that bell icon and subscribe to our channel for a steady stream of fascinating content on narcissism. Get ready to immerse yourself in a wealth of captivating videos brimming with valuable insights. Now let's refocus on our main agenda, navigating the realm of flying monkeys and how to navigate their antics. In this video, we'll explore effective strategies for dealing with situations where a narcissist manipulates others against you. You've likely encountered the term flying monkeys in the context of dealing with self-centered individuals. These are the individuals whom the narcissist strategically targets within your social circle, be it your parents, friends, siblings, or co-workers, spreading negative stories to undermine your support system and recruit allies for themselves. Encounters with flying monkeys often peak during divorces, where shared extended family networks can significantly influence the dynamics. The narcissistic partner seizes this opportunity to approach mutual acquaintances, tarnishing your reputation and vying for control over the narrative. Their ultimate goal is to sway these individuals to their side, thereby weakening your support network and bolstering their perceived superiority. Being ensnared in a narcissistic relationship already breeds self-doubt due to the constant gaslighting from the narcissist. When those closest to you also align with the narcissist, it exacerbates feelings of self-doubt and isolation. Ever pondered how they orchestrate their manipulative maneuvers? Narcissists possess an enchanting charm and magnetic personality. They emit an aura of benevolence and wield a profound grasp of social dynamics, effortlessly weaving intricate networks. Through their artful manipulation, they persuade others to embrace the web of deceit they weave. Leveraging their charm, they craft a blend of logical persuasion and emotional appeal, enticing people to rally behind them willingly. They spare no effort in tarnishing the reputations of your nearest and dearest, employing calculated condescension and artful rhetoric. But beware, these are just a glimpse of the myriad tactics they employ to bolster their facade. They deftly exploit your weaknesses, fabricating elaborate narratives teeming with outright falsehoods, all to satisfy their selfish desires. Their aim is unequivocal, absolute control. This can only be achieved if everyone around them falls into their meticulously laid plans. In a way, their machinations resemble the intricate games children play on a playground. However, the stakes are significantly higher and their strategies far more effective as they strive to dominate every facet of their surroundings. For the narcissist, triumph is paramount. Their primary impetus is the acquisition of power and dominion over others, a means to elevate their own sense of self-worth. But how does one navigate a situation where they find themselves ensnared in the manipulative clutches of a narcissist? Enter the infamous flying monkey scenario, Above all, grant yourself ample time to navigate and process the myriad emotions entwined with this predicament. It's entirely natural to grapple with feelings of sorrow and betrayal when a narcissist sows seeds of doubt and deceit among those once close to your heart, fashioning a web of falsehoods to tarnish your reputation. You might find yourself faced with unanswered calls and plans fizzling into oblivion leaving you adrift in a sea of solitude. Consider the plight of an empathetic soul entangled with a self-absorbed sibling. Despite the brother's relentless efforts to besmirch his character and disseminate venomous rumors within their social circle, physical distance limited frequent communication. Nonetheless, this insidious brand of psychological warfare inflicted a profound wound upon his compassionate spirit. To navigate the turbulent waters of emotional aftermath, prioritize your own well-being 
and seek solace in the embrace of trustworthy confidence, be they friends, family, or a compassionate therapist. Furthermore, stand firm in the face of baseless accusations, armed with irrefutable evidence, and maintain open lines of communication with those ensnared in the narcissist's manipulative web. At a family gathering, our empathic protagonist found himself bewildered by the frosty reception and distant demeanour of his kin. Puzzled and perplexed, he ruminated over past interactions, scurring his memory for any unintentional transgressions that might have provoked such a cold shoulder. At times, he even entertained the outlandish notion that news of his own demise had somehow eluded him, or that some inexplicable calamity had befallen his name. Yet, the puzzle remained frustratingly unsolved, its pieces scattered beyond his grasp. Months later, a revelation rippled through his social circle, laying bare his brother's sinister intentions to disseminate falsehoods and deceit. The disclosure struck him like a thunderbolt, exposing the intricate web of manipulation woven by the narcissist with alarming precision. Witnessing the seamless orchestration of manipulation by the ego-driven sibling left him grappling with a profound sense of despair. Despite the intricate nuances of familial relationships, the gentle-hearted brother found himself chattered and adrift, unsure of how to navigate the treacherous waters ahead. The individuals who once stood as pillars of support had now turned their backs, leaving him to confront the harsh reality of betrayal. Many of you may find yourselves ensnared in similar webs of deceit, trapped in circumstances where the venomous machinations of narcissism wreak havoc in the workplace, neighborhood, or even within the sanctity of your own family. Narcissists, devoid of empathy, remain oblivious to the wreckage they leave in their wake. Their malicious tactics inflict profound harm upon their unsuspecting victims. When I inquired whether the estranged individuals held significance in his life, the answer was a resounding affirmation. I suggested reaching out to them with sincerity, engaging in heartfelt dialogues devoid of defensiveness or accusations. Instead of labelling his brother as a narcissist or offering explanations, I encouraged him to approach these conversations with empathy and vulnerability, seeking understanding and reconciliation. Instead, I recommended that he simply continue being his authentic self in their presence, knowing that his loved ones already held a positive opinion of him. The narcissist's manipulation had momentarily clouded their judgment. He wisely heeded my advice and initiated conversations. It was remarkable to witness how their perceptions of him gradually shifted once they experienced his genuine kindness and individuality. They were understandably puzzled, considering the unsettling dynamics within the family. He acknowledged that regrettable discussions had occurred within their family circle and expressed remorse if they had been subjected to hurtful remarks. This approach facilitated his reconnection with the majority of those who had distanced themselves, rebuilding trust and reinstating their confidence in him. I deeply sympathize with the anguish you endured particularly the distressing ordeal of watching friends and family gradually aligning with the fabrications concocted by your narcissistic brother. Some swiftly moved beyond the fabricated incidents, while others, steadfast in their belief in the false narratives, proved to be even more detrimental to you. In our discussions about your situation, I encouraged you to reflect on the value of maintaining relationships with individuals who could so easily abandon you. I understand the challenge you faced, given the long-standing bonds at stake. However, if they were swayed so readily by one person's words, it raises doubts about the strength of the initial connection. Moreover, why did they not directly engage with you to address their concerns, when the individual tarnishing your reputation was a family member, spouse, or close friend? This situation highlights the importance of open communication, honesty, and genuine dialogue. 
When faced with false accusations and rumours, it's crucial for those around you to question the narrative and have the courage to engage directly with you, rather than blindly accepting hearsay as absolute truth. True friends and supportive family members will often initiate direct conversations when they encounter concerning information. Healthy relationships thrive on open communication, where individuals express their concerns and address any unsettling rumours. The experience of the kind-hearted brother serves as an example of this dynamic, as his loyal and perceptive friend was the first to sense something was wrong and initiated a dialogue. It was intriguing to observe how, with time, more people in the group expressed their doubts as they noticed discrepancies between the accusations and their personal knowledge of him. In most cases, genuine individuals surrounding you will see through the deception and approach you directly. Rebuilding your reputation can be an unjust, painful and disorienting process, especially when you've done nothing to deserve such treatment. It requires significant effort, mental resilience and time to navigate the cruelty and unfairness of such a situation. The strain on your relationships can be unsettling. However, by shifting your perspective, you may discover a silver lining in realizing that the narcissist's actions have revealed the truth about some of your connections. It's essential to discern whether those who easily succumbed to manipulation were true friends or merely acquaintances. When confronting flying monkeys, my advice is always to respond with grace. Narcissists are adept at exploiting vulnerabilities and controlling others. In such scenarios, showing kindness to those who have been missled is paramount. Rather than outright denying rumours, it's more effective to extend empathy and acknowledge the challenges they may encounter in grappling with such malicious falsehoods. Let them know you sympathise with their unpleasant situation and stress that those who truly know you can discern the truth behind the accusations. Encourage direct communication moving forward, reassuring them of your readiness to listen, support and validate their experiences. In combating the darkness cast by a narcissist, introducing light becomes essential. Narcissistic individuals are primarily driven by fear, using others as mere pawns in their strategic games. When they spread false narratives to sow discord, it's all part of their Machiavellian tactics. They aim to deceive as many people as possible, turning their manipulative schemes into a cruel game of lies. However, you need not allow them to emerge triumphant. In the labyrinth of dealing with a narcissist, it's not uncommon for them to unveil private aspects of your relationship inappropriately. They may breach your trust by revealing delicate details meant to remain under wraps. The mere thought of them wielding your family's hidden truths against you is disconcerting, especially given your initial belief in their discretion. In such intricate scenarios, it becomes imperative to take proactive measures to mend any ensuing damage. If, in a moment of vulnerability, you inadvertently disclosed something you shouldn't have, taking ownership and initiating sincere efforts to rectify the situation are paramount. Amid these tumultuous times, seeking therapy can offer invaluable support in navigating the gaslighting tactics that often leave you feeling destabilized and bewildered. Always remember to gravitate towards those who genuinely prioritize your well-being and actively seek their company. Much like the tale of the kind-hearted brother, there will be individuals in your orbit who discern the falsehoods amidst the chaos of false narratives. These are the steadfast companions you need beside you, offering unwavering guidance and support. When flying monkeys and narcissists endeavour to sow seeds of doubt and discord, there's a silver lining in identifying your true allies and friends. If certain individuals hastily abandon ship, it may signify that the bonds of those relationships were not as robust as once believed. In essence, countering darkness necessitates the radiance of light. 
Surround yourself with the love and backing of those who wholeheartedly believe in you and will steadfastly stand by your side through life's trials and tribulations. I totally get where you're coming from. I understand your drive and the reasons behind considering such actions, especially given how they've treated you. But let me make one thing clear. This isn't about seeking vengeance. We'll delve into that in the video. Hey there, everyone. I trust you're all hanging in there. So, you're thinking about shaking things up and pondering the idea of dismantling their influence. I completely feel you on that. I really do. There's a straightforward method that might just do the trick. It might sound simple on paper, but in reality, it's no walk in the park. I get that it involves a series of steps, and not everyone's cut out for it. But hey, you've got what it takes. Now let's chat about dealing with a narcissist. First things first, I'm not advocating for any harmful actions toward another individual. Let's not forget, narcissists are people too, even if some of you might strongly disagree with me on that. But let's switch gears here. I understand why you're keen to tackle this issue, and it's not about tearing them down as individuals. It's about employing savvy strategies to handle them. Ultimately, the aim is to cut them out of our lives. And to do that, you've got to remove yourself from their orbit. You need to vanish from their radar and withdraw your energy, making it seem like you're no longer on their wavelength. This tactic will effectively take down the narcissist, in a manner of speaking. However, if you're determined to keep this person out of your life, action is necessary. I understand that not everyone can easily do this, especially if there are shared responsibilities like children or assets. But you can still minimize your contact with them. Remember, narcissists thrive on emotional connections, even if they don't genuinely feel emotions themselves. They crave emotional validation and are keen on understanding your thoughts, feelings, and motivations. They know you well and can predict your behaviors based on their observations. So it's crucial to handle this situation strategically, focusing on reducing contact and being mindful of the emotional aspect. The priority is to protect yourself and ultimately sever any ties with the narcissist. The narcissist has been closely watching you, your body language, your expressions. For them, this is their lifeline. They're like predators, relying on these cues. They have a heightened sensitivity to such details because they need to gauge your reactions. They've meticulously studied your triggers and can anticipate your responses. However, by withholding this information, you become unpredictable to the narcissist. They can't predict your next move, your behavior, or your thoughts anymore because they've lost that insight. Your absence and lack of communication leave them bewildered. This perplexity deeply unsettles them, prompting the question, what's happening here? Deprived of their expected validation, narcissists face an inner turmoil Validation is crucial for them, a fundamental need they relentlessly pursue. If you seek validation from a narcissist, understand that obtaining it requires manipulation. They won't readily offer it, you must coerce them into providing it. Initially compliant, they quickly grow bored, necessitating the narcissist to devise alternative tactics. Gaslighting and deceit may become tools to extract validation compelling them to act against their true desires. It's important to emphasize that engaging in manipulative behaviors like gaslighting and lying is neither encouraged nor endorsed. Healthy and honest interactions should always be prioritized in any relationship. Using gaslighting, narcissists manipulate you into compliance, forcing actions contrary to your authentic self. Consider how it feels to act against your will, compromising your integrity. Initially, you may suppress your discomfort, repeating this cycle despite recognizing its dissonance. However, 
A tipping point arrives when you realize this isn't acceptable. Refusing to fulfill their desires, you inadvertently disrupt their core need for validation. Though not immediately apparent, narcissists depend on validation, constantly seeking it to validate their existence. However, if they're denied this validation, it gets them hard. They feel utterly devastated, ignored, and invisible, triggering deep wounds from their childhood. Just as their parents or caregivers might have treated them by disregarding their needs, the narcissist adopts a similar approach with you. When you fail to comply, they resort to either ignoring you or punishing you, echoing the behavior they experienced in their formative years. Sadly, no one intervened to address this harmful pattern, leaving them to believe it was acceptable. Consequently, they perpetuate this cycle, using manipulation to shape you into fulfilling their desires and expectations. When you withhold validation and attention, the narcissist experiences profound distress. Despite the presence of others who could potentially offer validation, they might specifically desire it from you. You could be their primary source of the validation, love, and attention they crave. There might be something unique about what you provide that fulfills their needs in a way others cannot. Hence, their fixation on obtaining validation from you is intense. It serves a specific purpose and boosts their self-esteem. Denying them this validation has a devastating impact as it undermines their sense of power and confidence. In their perception, the more validation they receive, the greater their sense of self-worth and superiority. Imagine their perspective, a childhood marked by neglect, where insignificance was their constant companion and their existence barely acknowledged. Something within them shifted during those formative years. Now, they relentlessly seek validation from any available source to compensate for the neglect they endured. One or two sources of validation aren't enough. They hunger for an ever-expanding audience. The more validation they receive, the more significant they feel. It becomes their lifeline, their way of being seen and acknowledged in the world. So, when this validation is suddenly withdrawn, it devastates them. Just one person retracting their validation serves as a stark reminder, triggering feelings of inadequacy and reinforcing their belief that they are unworthy of attention. These reminders dredge up the pain of their childhood experiences, which they desperately try to escape. To shield themselves from this pain, they resort to tactics like hiding, gaslighting, and projecting, all in an attempt to fulfill their fundamental need, to feel significant and recognized. This need drives their every action. My dear friends, I trust that what I shared here strikes a chord within you. It's crucial to understand that we're not advocating for stooping to the narcissist's level and engaging in their toxic behaviors. No, dealing with them requires a strategic and thoughtful approach. You must strip away the very thing they crave the most, validation. This is how you dismantle their power over you. It's a tactic that confounds them and allows you to reclaim your own strength. However, executing this strategy isn't always easy. It requires reaching a point where this person no longer holds sway over your emotions and psyche. You must have faith in your ability to thrive without their presence. This entails redirecting your focus and energy away from them, paving the way for your own growth and healing. Remember, this is your journey and you have the power to shape it according to your terms. Don't allow yourself to remain ensnared in their web of manipulation. You deserve a future free from their influence, where your own needs and desires take center stage. This is what true liberation looks like. Thank you all for tuning in, my dear friends. I sincerely hope that this discussion has provided you with valuable insights. Until we meet again. Take care and farewell. The narcissists begin to sense that their mask is slipping and you're seeing through their facade. 
Their usual bag of tricks no longer distracts or impresses. They're left with a choice, be ignored or be dismissed. It's widely understood that narcissists thrive on attention of any kind. Neglect and criticism strike a particularly painful chord because they bruise their fragile egos and trigger deep-seated shame. But let's be honest, they'd brought it upon themselves. So, what do they do? They pick fights with you to assert their superiority, playing the classic big me, tiny you game. In most cases, it's almost laughable. Unless, of course, you're dealing with the more dangerous breed of narcissists who resort to violence when backed into a corner. Now let's talk about the kind of person who sends a narcissist running for cover. It's the one who sees through their victim act and refuses to play along. In the grand scheme of things, narcissists are just terrible to each other. They're all twisted individuals who derive pleasure from making others suffer. So, wouldn't it be poetic justice if they turned their toxic behavior on each other, especially those malignant narcissists? However, some people find it more entertaining to harm the vulnerable than to help them. It's a twisted logic where they believe they're immune to consequences, allowing them to ruin lives and careers without repercussions of their own. Narcissists often strut around with an inflated sense of self-worth and entitlement. Their knack for projecting an air of superiority, taking undue credit and deflecting blame is often seen as the secret sauce to their professional success. Consequently, those lacking in self-awareness often become unwitting targets for narcissistic manipulation. The insatiable hunger of narcissists for validation drives them to exploit and manipulate anyone within their reach. To them, those who show compassion are easy pickings. However, there are instances where they end up causing trouble for the wrong person. Contrary to the narcissist's belief, having empathy doesn't automatically equate to weakness. Sure, some individuals may be more open to persuasion, and those with a strong capacity for empathy are often compassionate and giving. Yet, there are those who can swiftly toggle their empathy switch. This adaptability is where the real strength lies. It's crucial to know when to turn off our empathy faucet when we recognize someone is simply draining us dry. Narcissists embody toxicity with their self-centeredness, manipulation, and lack of empathy, making them exceedingly difficult to connect with. However, not everyone deserves our sympathy, and we must guard against being taken advantage of. In this video, I delve into the psychology behind why narcissists are drawn to certain personality types. Mistreating someone simply because they're gentle or empathetic is unjustifiable. Narcissists struggle to comprehend that affable individuals don't have to tolerate abuse to maintain their pleasant demeanor. Initially, victims of love bombing may extend the benefit of the doubt to the narcissist, but once their deceit becomes apparent, chaos ensues. However, these individuals are not spineless. They bravely confront the narcissist about their harmful behavior, unafraid to see through their deception and face the truth head on. To recognize true sufferers, just observe how they refuse to magnify their pain with others' sympathy. Such individuals become a thorn in the narcissist's side, causing regret for ever engaging with them, as they can't be deceived or manipulated any longer. Everyone responds uniquely to adversity. Some opt to distance themselves from the narcissist, while others seek revenge actively. If justice seems delayed, it's natural to feel disillusioned and enraged. Seeking retribution, they expose the narcissist's humiliation publicly or may resort to physical retaliation or damaging their possessions. Financially victimized, they air their grievances publicly or take legal action to rectify the situation. While some individuals resort to extreme measures to confront narcissists, I don't endorse this as the most effective approach. It's natural to desire revenge 
after enduring pain from a narcissist. As demonstrated in this video, certain retaliatory actions can indeed push a narcissist to their breaking point. Among the many triggers for a narcissist's descent into depression, exposure and abandonment by those they sought to harm are prevalent. Sometimes, merely catching them off guard with substantial evidence of their behavior can lead to a moment of realization. However, given their tendency to justify their actions, it's unlikely they'll outgrow their self-centeredness. Narcissists struggle to understand why anyone would refuse to indulge their manipulations, and this rejection fuels their anger, instilling genuine fear in those who stand against them. Out of fear, some victims may feel it's too risky to take action against the perpetrator. They might resort to blaming the victim for the incident and portraying themselves as helpless victims to cover up their wrongdoing. In extreme cases, they might even wish harm upon the victim, preferring not to deal with them again. Dealing with lies, manipulation or abuse is never pleasant, and some of us would rather confront the narcissist head-on than endure further suffering. It's like waking up from a deep slumber when we realize a narcissist has been manipulating us. By disappearing without a trace, we cleverly cut off their narcissistic supply, leaving them bewildered. To avoid future interactions with narcissists, we can embody the traits admired by others. That wraps up today's discussion. Wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. I want to express my sincere gratitude for your time and attention. If you found this video helpful, consider donating and sharing it with your social networks. Thank you.